So at the start of the system, this will complete free and this will give the user time to con to get itself ready and to put the finger into the finger holder to and start to detect pulses. So this light will flash every time it detects a high. So next the screen see an enter one to start to continue. So when you press one, it'll come here and here asking you which values you want to store to the memory. So for this example, we go and store each array alone, which is hard for you. So we press E. So then it'll show that is reading values. So you can see these are the current values actually measured. So the hard drive was 120, the HRV, well, it, it just updated to 24. The, hard, the temperature now is 24, etc. And I'll keep on doing this on once our reading for each of these sensors are available. And if so, the range for heart rate is between 60 and 140, and 160, I think it is, I set it as. So now we'll test to see if it goes to the range, what will happen. So I'll just take my finger out and like flicker it to simulate a very high, sum, high sum, heart rate. So you can see it sounded the alarm. And once the heart rate drops below that value, it should sound, take off the alarm. So you can see that would, as expected. Well, now the glucose is below the range, so it will sound the alarm. Well, now we will scroll back through the memory to see what values we had stored. So, here it is not actively taking measurements, so you can take your finger out of the value. So, I press 5 to scroll through the first reading, so you can see 139 and then 120, and it's showing the 10th value stored. So, continue. So, these are all the heart rate measurements stored so far. And to go back to take live readings again, well, the person will have to put the finger back in and you're pressing star. And then, when our reading is ready for each of the modules, they'll display on the screen. And then it will continue saving these values back to the memory. So, if I scroll up again on the to see the memory, I should see 90 and 96. So 90 and 96, and these were all the previous values that I had stored. And now I'll just compare that value, or those values I have, to one using my phone, the heart rate sensor on my phone. Okay, so you can see like 87, 87 beats per minute and we had approximately 90, so it is relatively accurate. So now we will go back to start back taking live readings and then the user will have the ability to store the interval in which they want to take sample. So we will put 3 here. So this will mean every other value, every other other value will be stored to the memory. So we have 96 now. Well, 96 again. Ninety six. Well, if I move my finger, you can see that it's constantly taking accurate values. Okay, so if I scroll back to the memory now, you should see like some values being skipped.